Well, good afternoon, everybody. It is April 7th, 2023 in Big Bear, California. We're gonna do a video to see how much snow is remaining in the whole valley. So we're gonna go from here, the center of town, to Baldwin, and then back to the dam. So where we're going first is where you're gonna see the least amount of snow. I'm really interested to see Baldwin Lake, how much water's in there, and also to see how little snow there is over there. It's gonna be shocking, you guys. It's gonna be shocking. Right now, the temperature is currently 53 degrees. And usually with traffic like this, we'd be taking the side routes, but I want you guys to see what everything's like on the main, on the main drag. It is Friday, so we do got some people up here, which is great. We need it. Welcome everybody. Thank you guys for showing up. Um, hope you guys enjoyed uh, Carlos Kramer. He's been six time uh, uh, best ring announcer in the world. And uh, yeah, he, he, he loves our channel and uh, that was really cool what he did for us in that last video, <laughs> really cool. And then don't forget, in about a week or so guys, we're gonna be going on the, on possibly the 2N10, which is a really awesome off-roading off trail. Even though all the trails are closed till ju uh, June 30th, my good friend who owns a big wood business up here, he's got his permits through the forestry service and, uh, and he's got all the keys to all the gates. So we are going to legally be able to go back there um, which will be great. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. So hopefully you guys are as well. He said right now there's still in, in some spots over four feet on the roads back there on the dirt roads. So we just got to be extra cautious. It is a little bit scary back there. It can be very dangerous. Uh, there are parts where you're right on the edge of thousands of feet falling off, no guardrails, nothing like that. And it's a one lane wood road, wood road, <laughs> dirt road. <laughs> So yeah, and hey, one more thing. I hate to be this guy, but if you guys enjoy what I do and see all, all the effort that I put into this, I'd really, really appreciate a like and a subscribe. That would really help me out, you guys. Please, please do that for me, thank you. All right, so we are on Big Bear Boulevard. Uh, let's see, what is, what is the exact time we got here? Let me get out my phone, my other phone. It's 4.18. It is 418. And today I got to meet one of our, our good friends <clears throat> on this channel. He goes by Fuchs Forever, in which is his username, F-O-O-X, the number four, and then ever. He lives in Anacrime, and I refer to it as Anacrime because I was born there, and I just think it's funny. Anaheim, Anacrime. Uh, yeah, <laughs> talk about an awesome, awesome, awesome visit. Uh, what a wonderful man. He's been watching this channel for about seven years, you guys. And it was so good, so good to meet you, Alex, bro. He also wanted to buy a, a beanie. So he gave me the 70 bucks, plus he, he gave me a hundred dollar bill and said, keep the change. Like, that's just crazy cool. Thank you again, Alex, man. Thank you again, and it was awesome talking with you. I love getting to meet you guys. You guys are, you guys are my heart. You, you guys keep me going for sure. I don't know what I would do without you guys. Here's one of the snow play areas, a paid snow play area. We were gonna try to do it, but it's just, you know, it's it's 80 bucks for for the both of us. And I don't know how much longer they're they're gonna be open. So I need to uh, really get on that quickly or not at all. I just, it's just, it's 80 bucks, 40 per person. And I know I'm so out of shape, even though it's it's got a an automatic walkway that pulls you up to the, to the top. Um, still, I'm just so out of shape and I wanna make it worth worth my while, worth my wife's while. Because yeah, 40 bucks is a lot of money just to pay pay to go sledding down some little hills. If I had the energy, we would go to all those free locations that I showed you guys. Because that would be best. I could save a bunch of money and get some exercise, but I'm I'm like scared of even the exercise attempt because there's it's just walking up in some fairly deep snow 
because some of these spots still have good, like a good amount of snow. It's not the best snow anymore, but it's a good amount still. Um, yeah, I'm just, uh, I guess it's just excuse after excuse, so you gotta forgive me, but I'd like to do the sledding video for you guys. But yeah, just keep your eyes open. The further we go this way, the less snow you're, you're gonna see. And if I'm correct, there should be points where there is no snow left, like in a huge portion of this town. And we are gonna be hitting that area on the first half of the drive. And then as I said, the second half of the drive, we are going to be getting to uh, the snowy part of town where there's still a lot of snow. Temperature jumped up to 56 degrees. This is the part of the road that uh, a little bit further ahead where they fixed a lot of the potholes even though there's still a whole bunch. Um, they just got the really big um, Grand Canyon type potholes, the kind that were destroying everybody's tires and alignment and whatnot. Once again, I just want to say thank you. Thank you, Alex. That was so nice to see you today. It was so nice to meet you today, man. I even put him on FaceTime to meet uh, Rachel. And um, yeah, it was, it, was, it was super cool. Since I was working, I didn't have Rachel with me. And uh, yeah, he was on my way home. And so I thought I would pull over and we ended up chatting for 15 or 20 minutes. Just such a, such a neat dude. The guy has the most awesome trucks too though. Mi amigo Alex, gracias amigo para todo. Yo sé que tú me gustas la gorra muchísimo. And that makes me happy. I mean, these potholes right here are still just dramatic as can be. But the worst area was uh, where we're about to drive through right now. As I said, they they pretty much fixed most of those, but it's it's been a nightmare. Passing paradise, brother. Okay, so from about here all the way to Maple, for those of you who know this town this is where the just the deadly potholes were you'll see all the areas where they fixed um, there's still a lot of issues over here but for about two or three weeks we had to drive on in this lane over here and the cars coming this direction got so used to that that they were all driving in that right lane that far right lane when you're coming the opposite direction excited about summertime because that's why I moved up here was for all the snow and nothing else but this is gonna be the first season coming up that we're gonna be doing some lake activities I'm excited to do that and uh, we're, we're, we're gonna be fishing with uh, a famous YouTube fisherman 
So he's, he's gonna show us all the ropes. I know most of you know already know how to fish, but he's just gonna give us the tricks of the trade. Ooh, look at that food truck. Tacos El, El Garrito. Ooh, that looks yummy. I would love to go to Tacos El, El Garrito. So straight across here, we we changed from Big Bear Boulevard to Shea Road. And then it, Shea Road turns into Baldwin Lake Road. Look at all this traffic. Pretty awesome stuff. It's good to see people coming into town. We desperately need it. So once again, as we drive through this area, you're, you're going to see significantly less snow. And try to keep mental notes for those of you who watch the whole thing on just the, the huge difference between this area and over by the Big Bear Dam. Seven and a half, eight mile difference. It's going to be amazing, you guys, to see no snow over here. For the aftermath, the last aftermath we did over here, there was there was a little bit of snow left, but I mean, look at this. It's just nothing. sunlight over here for for that many hours during the day but I'm, I'm not seeing much at all there, oh there we go there's some patches right there but other than that we just have a beautiful lake to look at over here You guys, that's, that's Baldwin Lake. That is so awesome. There's some donkeys out there. They are so cute. They are so pretty, those donkeys. doing great today as usual I'm super super thankful and grateful to have you guys here with me enjoying this seeing what the town is presenting before you get up here to make a good decision on whether you want to come up here or not yeah look at there's just nothing no snow anywhere wow so 
much water in there. My goodness. It's not that deep though, you guys. It's not that deep at all. It looks like it's a really deep lake, but it's just a couple feet, I believe. Backside to head back towards the Fonskin area and back around. degrees we are dropping fast <laughs> I'm just always so blown away with how pretty this looks when we have water over here I know I keep on saying this you guys but it really is something special it's something to behold up here and apparently this area used to be full all the time many many years ago I did I did not know that until recently I mean, 
full, meaning like even more full coming up to the side side of this road here. I can remember many, many, many years ago coming up here from Highway 18 and uh, this, I thought this was Big Bear Lake. Because I had never been up this side of the mountain range to get here and it, it's just, it, it was it was shocking. I didn't know that there was a second lake up here, but I'll bet you guys by mid-May, most of this water is gone. And we're gonna have a big start of the uh, evaporation process in the next couple days when we reach the mid-60s, you guys. You heard me correctly, we're gonna be hitting the mid-60s. And our low temperatures are gonna be in the upper 30s to low 40s. So yeah, the snow will be melting. The rest of the snow will be melting quickly. As you can see straight ahead, that's our ski resorts and whatnot. And then Sugarloaf Mountain to the left where you can see some snow up there, a bunch of snow still. The further we go this direction, as I've mentioned numerous times, you will be, will be coming into more snow. Obviously, as you guys are well aware of any questions you have about our snow, snowpack, areas of town with the most snow, least snow, where to go, my name is Joe, then just let me know. Oh my gosh, I really am a poet. Our water treatment facility, we just passed it. That's what they're considering uh, if we get enough money. That's what they're considering using to clean all of our sewer water and dumping it right back into the lake. And they're not gonna make it perfect either. They're gonna make it safe enough for people to be in the lake and to go fishing. It's not gonna be drinking quality. But I'll tell you what, just the thought of fishing and catching a, a poop fish just doesn't sound good to me. But I try to justify it in my mind by reminding myself that on all the cruise ships I've ever been on, because I used to love to cruise, I'm a, a, a Captain Circle member on Princess Cruises, and all the drinking water on board that's not bottled is reverse osmosis water that they use. They suck it up from the seawater and it goes through their uh, re uh, reverse osmosis system and then you get some great water. It's so good that it's not that good for you because it takes out pretty much all the parts per million of your water. So it takes out all the natural vitamins that come, come with it and stuff like that. It's like zero PPM. When I used to uh, do a little uh, horticulture, I had a, a reverse osmosis system because then I could put more nutrients into my plants without burning them without really bad news so my regular water was like 160 parts per million but with the reverse osmosis system it would take out every single bit it was zero zero ppms and so that as i said that meant i could add more nutrients to my plants and everything just blew up just grew just oh it was just spectacular I miss growing stuff. Cutting into a fresh tomato, just it's it's just it's it's just a great feeling to be sufficient like that, self-sufficient like that, you know. Okay, so we are on North Shore. We're still technically on Highway 18. I'll tell you when this turns into Highway 38. So a few more blocks. Basically, right when you pass Greenway, you guys, this road right here from Highway 18 turns into Highway 38 all the way to the dam. And then it dumps you off at Highway 18, AKA Big Bear Boulevard, to the left, or just Highway 18 to the right, through the little Arctic Circle. Forgive me about this bright sun, you guys. 
but it is bea beautiful out here today look at all the snow up there there is a lot of beautiful snow up there still saying that you know what what makes this channel so great besides all this beauty is listening to me ramble on and on you guys won't believe it but I really don't talk that much only when I'm doing these videos for some reason I just cannot shut it off direction the more snow we're going to start to come into it's going to be a while until we start hitting more snow but um, once we get into the fawn skin area you'll start seeing some more snow and then especially wrapping around by the dam and going along the lake on that side we'll be getting some more snow Wow, it is a perfect day out here today, you guys. I think this is the warmest day we've had in maybe five months or so. And it's gonna keep getting warmer the next few days. That temperature you see here that says 55, that could hit 65 in the next two days. that we can maintain water in the lake if we get to a full point. Once, once there's no snow over by the Big Bear Dam, through the little walkway that we need to uh, get down behind the dam so you can see all the water leaving the dam 24 seven. Hopefully we can slow that down, but because we don't own the water rights, Redlands does. Um, I think that flow is going to be a constant thing. It has been for decades, I think. And I don't see any of it changing anytime soon. Decided to start driving the other direction to get out of the sun. And you guys, we're coming up to the area where we turned to drive up to Holcomb, but did not make it. And I'll be reposting that video in a couple days. Not as a new video, just putting it back up and then putting it in the playlist. 
for all of our Holcomb videos. I have to find, I have so many videos, you guys, that I never used to do playlists. I didn't think anyone would really care. And so now I gotta look through all of them and find all my Holcomb videos, put those in the playlist, etc., etc., just to make it easier for you guys. Okay, so coming up here, this road right here, Pollock, or Pollock Canyon, that's where we turned to go up to Holcomb. And it takes you up along that side there. I know you can't see it because of the glare. But yeah, that's where we went and almost got stuck. <laughs> but we followed the rules up here, you guys. That's why we, we took down our drone videos and stuff, stuff like that because I didn't know that you needed a commercial license if you're doing a, a YouTube channel. So I bought all the, uh, the class stuff for my uh, drone license and uh, I should have it in the next month and then we'll do a lot more drone videos I've got a really really nice drone and if I'm disciplined enough I'll save up to to buy a newer model of it it's the DJI Maverick Mavic 2 the thing is amazing you can't crash the thing if you have all the sensors on it's it's awesome But as I said, I don't want to break any rules. I'm, I'm here to be a good example for people. Um, as, as you guys know, this channel was never about making money. So it's not like I really care about getting s certain videos. I know those drone videos get a lot of views. And it can ultimately in 5, 10 years help, help my bottom line here. But this is all because I'm passionate, you guys. I love doing this. I'll never stop. Yeah, look at bigger patches of snow as we get further into fawn skin, guys. That big mountain in the background, that's San Gorgonio, with a ridiculous amount of snow. In the downtown Fonskin area. We're going to be crossing over Grout Creek, which is where that water tributary is. You guys have been wanting me to check out a couple of the other ones, and I would too. It's just some of them are still, as far as I'm, as far as I know, a little difficult to get to. crossing it right now that little area right here water is still flowing baby yeah. gotta roll down the window a little bit now look at how much more snow we got over here you guys and we're coming into the eagle habitat Where you guys see Jackie and Shadow. Wow, I remember both their names. They're up here on the right hand side somewhere. Their tree. 
watching them defend their their home is so neat. I'm so proud that we get to live up here by these beautiful eagles. Yeah, they're right back in there. Here's a sign right here. It says closed eagle habitat area. Very cool. Here's Grout Bay picnic area. But yeah, isn't this just a remarkable difference in the amount of snow from one side of town to the other? It's just amazing. kidding me my friend not at all not at all I'd be happy to do that just let me know oops it didn't work you guys Come on, let me, let me do that again are you kidding me my friend not at all I'd be happy to do that for you just let me know I love seeing San Gorgonio, you guys, from here. It's just a huge amount of snow up there. I wish there was some way that we could divert some of that snow melt in, into Big Bear Lake, but it would have to go up a hill after it goes down to get there, so that will, that'll never happen. They would never invest that kind of money to build a type of water system that we have that goes over the LA mountains in, into LA, which is where I think that's right, guys, right? That's where LA gets a lot of its water is uh, like uh, from the Colorado River. And they actually have a process that moves the water over the mountain range to get into the LA area, the LA basin. Pretty amazing stuff. The engineering marvels are just amazing. side of the lake. We're going to be driving through that in just a moment. huge snow piles over here it looked like next week we had a chance for a little bit more snow you guys but I'm not seeing it on the radar or on the forecast anymore 
but keep your fingers crossed. You never know. Even if it doesn't stick around, it's just nice for you guys to come visit and just be in some snowfall. It's so freeing. It's so peaceful. Serene as can be. All right, we're at the Big Bear Dam. And there's Snow Valley Ski Resort way out there. I don't know if you can tell, but there it is. Owned by Big Bear Mountain Resorts now. Altera, I believe is what the parent company is called. All right, so we're gonna stop the video right now until the light turns green, so hang tight, guys. All right. Now we are in the snowiest part of the Big Bear Valley, folks. Kinda looks like smoky clouds over there. We're getting to that season, you guys, and after all this precipitation we've had this year, it's not gonna be it's not going to be pleasant. Hopefully we can we can get through it and uh, the fire crews can make sure that they, or the, the forest crews can make sure that they clear out certain areas, uh, which can be very, very, very bad. some snowman and snowballs that is cool look at that little snowman that makes me so happy never forget you guys it, it's it's you guys coming up here with smiles from ear to ear just having a blast that makes this place so wonderful and it's just new people all all the time which is which is great I've become a, a big time introvert over the years when I used to be the life of the party type of a person. I don't go out, I don't do anything anymore. It's just my wife and myself, we hang out together and that's it. The people I cherish and really look forward to meeting and spending time with are, are, are you guys. I do have a, a couple friends up here, but once again, I, I don't go out or party or anything like that. I just like to live my big bear life without any obstruction and interruption. And you guys are exactly what makes my big bear life wonderful. And again, for the one person still watching this long, long video, helping me out with a like and subscribe would be super huge like super super huge I've told you guys that I've been very very guilty of watching lots of YouTube channels like literally like just typing in that YouTube name daily just to go watch that channel's videos and I never subscribe like I never subscribe and being on YouTube now for for eight years I just learned about six months ago how important that really is and so I decided that I'm not going to do that to these people anymore. I'm going to do my very best to, uh, to take care of them. And I'm not saying that like I deserve it, but I would really, really, really appreciate it. I, I put a lot of, a lot of money into this channel because of gas and stuff. And as you guys are well aware of those of you who actually Google like YouTube's income, it's, it's, it's nothing. <laughs> it's nothing. I need a hundred thousand subscribers to at least potentially be able to pay my basic bills and nothing extra and that is my goal now because I am married to a wonderful woman who deserves all the love and support and everything that I could possibly give to her she puts up with me you guys so much and she's been such a nice beautiful addition to my life this channel and thank you guys for taking her in Thank you guys so much for taking in my beautiful bride. You guys make me so happy. You guys are the sweetest, sweetest people.
once again, you guys have really given me hope in humanity again. Because if, if you're someone like me who used to always watch the news, you just, all, all they were saying is everybody dislikes each other and this and that, blah, 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 blah. That is so not true, you guys. They're trying to create problems just to get clicks. And the fact that they're willing to sell out the American people like that to turn us against each other just, just for clickbait is horrifying to me. One of these days, we're gonna be doing a, a Boulder Bay tour of that Boulder Bay Park. That's gonna be soon, maybe in the next couple days, actually. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that place specifically. I was trying, trying to make a joke, so I don't want anyone to think that I'm saying the doghouse isn't any good up here. I don't know. I've never been there. I only refer you guys to places where I've been so I can give you a real honest, honest opinion of these spots. back next Thursday so we're gonna be doing some some videos on the Harley Davidson you guys driving around checking stuff out it's really cool because there's zero uh, there's zero obstruction and it, it feels like you're flying out there through the camera I mean it really feels like we're just flying and doing these uh, these videos with wings so it's really neat can't wait and I need to break in my brand new engine and my brand new Screaming Eagle Stage 4 kit. Thank goodness they convinced me to buy the extended warranty or it would have cost me $13,000. Because apparently I drive my motorcycle like a street bike, my Harley, and I drive it very hard and very fast. And that's what I guess the problem was. So I'm, I'm not gonna drive like that anymore, especially because I'm married. I don't wanna put my wife through that. And for those of you that love me, I don't want to put you guys through that either. Oh yeah. This is my favorite Mexican joint. And we forgot to go to Taco Tuesday. Oh my gosh. We missed Taco Tuesday. Guys, these Oh my gosh, I'm telling you, that place is phenomenal. We're, we're going to interview them, but guess what we're doing next week? We're going to be doing a Captain's Anchorage interview. yee And right here, this is a paid sledding area. This is where we did the roller coaster also. It's 40 bucks per person to sled, 20 bucks to go on that roller coaster that that person's going on right there. And my goodness, it is so much fun. about that for some reason my phone went on to two times the zoom so to finish this beautiful journey my good friends and family we are going to cruise through the village very very slowly to really enjoy the village the village big bear lake the village good kind of in-between type of a dining place for fine dining Oakside I really strongly suggest it it's a great joint 
they've got a bunch of new new stuff in here like Stella Luna and um, as I've referred you guys to numerous times this honey shop up here I think it's called the honey bee or the queen bee sorry it's called queen bee I'm pretty sure oh yeah that person's parking in a spot they're not supposed to turn that way but hey you gotta do what you gotta do when you're in Big Bear, right? Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. The Queen Bee. I'm telling you guys, if you guys want some high-end honey products, sidewalk, dude. It's really important that you guys shop there. Not only are the edible honey products phenomenal, but the the like uh, I don't know if it's called like a balm or or what, but there's a product that I, I get for my wife and my goodness, she already has beautiful skin, but it makes it so much prettier, like, or softer, not, not prettier. Can't get any much, it can't get much prettier than, than how my wife is right now. You know, she is smoking. She is so gorgeous. I am so, so lucky, especially you guys would be shocked. Like she thinks the world of me. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. There, there you guys go. Of course, my pleasure. My pleasure. There's a hotel that we're going to try and stay up. Stay in the village here. I think it's right above. It's upstairs in one of these spots coming up on the left. And we're going to try and stay here next week. It's one of the only spots you can rent in the village, you guys. So I think we're I think we're going to do that. It didn't look too inexpensive, but um, I'm proud of this town. I am really, 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 really proud of it. I wish I would have thought of doing something like this where I came from in Newport Beach, but I probably would have never moved here. Just like I'll probably never move out of Big Bear because I've uh, I've created a life up here. But yeah, guys, that's the village. That's Big Bear for you. There's there's our hotel that we stayed at for almost three weeks straight across there. I miss it already. We spent our first night back home last night. Remember, you guys, we checked in the day before that major, major, that second major storm, our second biggest storm of the season. And uh, I am super sad, but I am grateful because they're a wonderful, wonderful hotel, a wonderful staff. I was very, very pleased, very privileged to be able to stay there. And as I, I told you guys, a friend of mine who I've known for six years up here, they actually work there and I did not know that. And they offered us to stay for the family rate. I don't want you guys to think that you'll get the family rate, okay? I'm, I'm mentioning, it, mentioning it because that's why we stayed so long. And as you guys know, I've been extra responsible paying off my credit cards. And my 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 wife, God love her, man. She she deserves all of this. And I will work that much harder and do what I have to do to 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 do things like that for her. Here's my friend. I'm gonna honk in my train horn. <laughs> That's Ronnie and Tabitha. I shouldn't be honking that train horn too much. But yeah, anyway, guys, we are we are kaput with this video. Um, I want to thank you guys again for being here, being part of this experience with me, sharing these beautiful, beautiful drives. Um, communicating with me, leaving me the most amazing comments, and being just really, really good friends to me. I'm I'm beyond grateful. I know I say that every single video, but I am beyond grateful to have you guys in my life. I am very lucky. You guys have become my family. And please understand that we have such a beautiful community of family here. And I'm always here for you guys. You guys have put me to the test before. I will always drop what I'm doing to be there for you guys. You guys do that for me. It's really remarkable how special this is. And the cool thing is, a lot of you are talking to each other also, which is really, really cool. So imagine the fact that we're all getting to know each other. Like when some of us travel to different states or different parts of the world, we'll know somebody from the channel and maybe get together, hang out, go out to dinner, stuff like that. So we have something special here. Remember, this channel is often imitated, never, never duplicated. Um, 
there are a lot of people who literally are copying exactly what I do using the same titles, same content. Um, it's flattering, but at, at, at the same time, sad because, you know, like I've worked really, 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 really hard at this and you know, it is what it is, but thank you guys again. I really hope that you guys really do consider hitting the like and subscribe button and even sharing these if you really, really, really enjoy them because I really, really enjoy you guys. And if I could click share for you guys, I would share you guys. <laughs> Thanks again for everything. It is April 7th, 2023 in the Big Bear, California area. And we are out as we turn onto Brownie Lane. I love you guys so dearly. And never forget, I will always be here for each and every single one of you. Take care, you guys. From your brother, Nick, I love you.